North America, and all the other continents seem to stay in the same locations year after year. Actually, however, the continents are moving slowly relative to one another. In the past 200 million years, the continents have moved from the locations shown. The theory of plate tectonics accounts for this movement. According to this theory, the continents and ocean floors are parts of about 30 plates, the largest of which are shown. Each plate consists partly of crust, the outermost layer of the Earth, and partly of mantle, a thick layer of hot rock. The plates slide on the asthenosphere, a layer of mantle that is so hot it flows, even though it remains solid. 200 million years ago, all the continents were parts of a single landmass called Pangaea. Pangaea broke apart into masses called Laurasia and Gondwanaland. In turn, Laurasia and Gondwanaland broke apart. One piece of Gondwanaland, India, later joined Asia. In the next 50 million years, the continents may move to these locations.